What's up guys, it's me Jeremy. With the upcoming update to the new Ash in the next patch, I figured it would be worth taking a look over since I think it's a pretty cool kit and will prove to be quite strong. Let's get started. Now the main changes to Ash come in the form of her passive, her Q, and her hawkshot. Her volley and her ultimate remain mostly unchanged. Her old Q is now moved to her passive, so every single auto attack with her now slows at the cost of zero mana. The trade-off is now that the slow at early levels is really, really weak and kind of non-existent, but it's really nice to not use mana to permasol people now and it scales up really well. In addition, she can no longer critically strike, but her passive scales and gives her bonus damage depending on how much crit chance she has. This is also actually pretty good because the bonus damage scales well enough with crit chance to make it so that you really do just about the same amount of damage, but without the RNG that crit chance normally brings, which is really sweet. Now she really doesn't run out of mana that much unless you're spamming volley off cooldown, so it gives her a lot more resources to work with, which is really awesome, especially since mana issues were such a big problem for her in the past. Her Q now builds up a stack of focus that lasts for about 5 seconds whenever you hit a target and when you activate the ability, you get increased attack speed and your passive slow amount increases based on how many focus stacks you have. In addition, if you had 5 stacks of focus when you use this ability, it now gives you some rapid fire attacks that do a nice chunk of damage. It's decently strong and makes her early and mid game damage reasonably higher, so it's a nice change. And lastly, her hogshot is pretty much the same, but it's now global, which to be honest is totally insane. Especially at the competitive level, this alone is enough to make Ash really strong. Add into that that it now uses a charge system that stores two charges, and so it's really good. And honestly, in my opinion, is the biggest buff of this update. Since if you're skilled enough, this skill pretty much just becomes a clairvoyance, but better. And you can use it to track the enemy jungler and set up a boatload of plays and really deny so many options for your opponents. So I played Ash for a few games on the PBE and I have to say that now she's really cool. As someone who really likes to engage fights, I'm always going to have a good time on Ash because I love her ultimate a lot and I'm pretty good at using it effectively. Her mid game team fights are reasonably better now and in combo with her arrow, her team fights in general are just really really strong. Her raw damage as a whole has gone up by a decent amount and so you have a lot more room to work with and it's really good especially in this kind of tank meta. However, Ash's main problems that make her weak on the old patch are still all pretty much existent. She still suffers from not having mobility, but mobility is not actually that necessary on an AD carry, so it is something that makes her a bit harder to play and easier to play against, but it doesn't completely ruin her as a champion. In addition, her landing phase past level 3 or so is still fairly lackluster. It got a bit better with the change to her Q, and so her landing has gone from below average to about average early on, and it does get a lot better once she hits level 6 since her ultimate is just so impactful, but overall she can still be punished quite hard by lane bully champions. Overall, this update is most certainly a buff to Ash as a champion, since she pretty much received no downsides for the improvements to her kit. I think she'll be really good both in solo queue and in competitive play. Her hawkshot just gives her so much power, and her ultimate is always going to be amazing and makes her a really powerful champion in teamfights, since you can start fights and create picks so effectively while still being an AD carry. I honestly wouldn't be too surprised to see her become the best AD carry champion once this update goes live, since she's already kind of decent the way she is now now anyways, at least in solo queue, and so these buffs definitely help her out a lot. Anyways, my name is Jeremy, and that's it for my video on the new Ash. Hey guys, it's me Jeremy. Thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, definitely make sure to hit that like button so I can tell, and if you're interested, definitely check me out on all the socials, of which you can see over there. And if you really enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe for some more awesome content in the future, as well as you can check out some of my other videos up here and over there. Anyways, that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching, and of course, I'll see you guys next time.